facts. I don't know if you guys know about this, but there is a survey out now where they found out that white people are more likely to believe that black people are magic. <laughs> really? Do you guys think we're magic? <laughs> if black people are magic, we've clearly been using it the wrong way. <laughs> Do you know how many more elections we would have won? Do you know how many bullets would be deflected? Do you know how many Oscar nominations would be fair? <laughs> if black people are magic, I mean, I feel like if there's anything that we've learned from the Harry Potter franchise is that white people are magic. You guys have that on lock, I'm just saying. I ride the train today, uh, and I ride it every day to work. If you've ever ridden the train, you know there are only two types of crazy people that ride the train. Uh, there are those that let you know they got a situation right away. <laughs> and then there are those that hide their light under a bushel for three stops. I know you know which one is better. Woman sat next to me on the train. First stop, cool. Second stop, fine. Third stop. She starts singing in my ear. <laughs> I am beautiful and never sing away. Really? <laughs> Lady, you couldn't have told me about that three stops ago. <laughs> now all the seats are gone and I'm stuck. Another time, this guy gets onto the train, looks me dead in the eye and calls me the N word. I know, so polite. Just saying, let me know up front. <laughs> I love rap music, uh, but I grew up in the suburbs. And um, when you grow up in the suburbs, you have strange ideas about how the world actually works. So for the longest time, I thought that one day I could become Snoop Dogg spell checker. <laughs> I thought it was a job. You notice that fool was always singing in his songs. He's always spelling. Somebody had to figure out how many Z's were in a dime brizzle. I figured one day that somebody could be me. You guys know, because if you grew up in the suburbs, it's so tame, it's so vanilla, that you crave that danger of gangster rap, but with the safety of grammar and syntax. I uh, was socialized to be a rule abider. I follow the rules. Um, but that does not mean that I don't have a rebellious side. Sometimes when I'm in the doctor's office and I'm filling out the intake forms, I write in the for office use only section. I do. Just love notes, you know. Hey, office, what up? <laughs> hey, office, use it, don't abuse it. I like to think that uh, this section on forms was generated by somebody's massive meltdown. Like, previously, it was just white space, and guys kept filling it up with drawings of boobies. And then one day, some admin in the back just loses it. That's it, I've had it. From now on, for office use only. Pretty sure that's how it happened. <laughs> Pretty sure. I don't know if you guys have tried this breakfast sandwich called the McGriddles. First of all, let's talk about the most ridiculous name for a breakfast sandwich. Uh, but there's a commercial, and the first time I watched it, it struck me as really racist. Um, it's a bus filled with a high school sports team. All female, all white, except for one. Coach gets onto the bus, it's coffee time. He gets to the first girl, hands her her coffee, one sugar, no cream, next girl, one cream, no sugar. Gets to the black girl and hands her a coffee and a sausage egg McGriddles. <laughs> Cut to the white girl who's like, why does she get a sausage egg McGriddles? I'm sitting on my couch, 
and I start talking to the TV. <laughs> Can a girl eat a sausage egg McGriddles in peace? You little white girls didn't want her on the team in the first place. She had to work a full year just to get there, had to work two jobs just to pay for the damned uniform. Yeah, I made the backstory up, so what? <laughs> it probably happened. And I was angry because it struck me as really racist. But then I watched it again and I realized it's not racist, it's genius. Okay, because see, somehow McDonald's knows that even though I'm an adult now and I have all my new healthy ways, deep down inside, I'm still just a chubby little black girl that loves McDonald's and hates racism. And they played on it. They just played on it. Because now it's not a breakfast sandwich, it's a justice issue. Okay, my people marched on Washington so that one day I too could eat a sausage egg McGriddles in peace, okay? Because the second time I saw the commercial, I didn't hear any of the dialogue. I just heard the theme song from Shaft. <laughs> it came in like, ba da 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 ba da 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 ba ba da 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 ba da 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 ba Here comes Isaac Hayes talking about, hey there, little black girl. You gonna let the white man steal your McGriddles too? <laughs> Hell nah. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. My name is Crystal, you guys have been fantastic. <laughs>